my kitties. It's me again, Chica Story Times. And you know what? Today's a very special day. Being that I had a hundred subscribers, a hundred not subscribers, but a hundred views on one of my videos, I've been so crazy and happy. And it made me do something crazy, real crazy, guys. I wrote my own story. I know that I've been going crazy because of this whole thing that's going on in America right now. And I know you probably don't understand all of it because I don't understand all of it, but I like to make everyone happy. So I made a story and it has some people in my life very close to me, but I wrote this story and I hope you guys love it. It's going to be a little different from the other stories I read to you because the other stories are written by real famous people and I'm not that famous yet, but I did a really, really hard job. Of writing it okay guys so you ready let's go i'm gonna read it so this story is called Pr princess janessa nadelsi and the unfortunate virus you guys ready i feel like i need a hug buddy i feel like i need someone to hug during this video you ready okay here we go One day, Princess Janessa and Prince Aaron were playing in her backyard when a virus started to spread. King Papa, Princess Janessa's grandfather, rushed her into the house. Janessa was so sad because she didn't know when she would see Prince Aaron again. As the days passed, no one in the kingdom was allowed to go outside for fear they would catch the virus. There was no work, no school or work. Queen Jessica worried about Princess Janessa, for she was not getting her princess lessons. The queen tried her best to give princess lessons to Janessa. As for Prince Aaron, Queen Stephanie tried her best to make sure he was getting his lessons too. Hmm. The days were so long and the lessons were getting boring. Time for fun, but what to do? When there was fun, Princess Janessa and Prince Aaron would go to each other's kingdoms and play. Now they must play with the royal pups or the kings and queens. All they wanted to do is play with their friend. Maybe, just maybe, there was a way. Princess Janessa summoned the queen. Mommy, mommy, the queen rushed in a hurry. Mommy, I want to play with Prince Aaron. The queen just hugged the princess. I know, I know. It has to be this way until the virus has lifted, Queen Jessica replied. They didn't know that in the Ramos kingdom, Aaron and Queen Stephanie were doing the same exact thing. Oh, but they were up to a clever plan. A sweet clever plan. As the day went on, the bell to Janessa's kingdom rang. Ding dong, ding dong. When the queen went to the door, she found no one but a tin. She retrieved the tin and there were cookies for Princess Janessa and the Luina kingdom. Princess was so happy she wanted to say thank you for she now knew her friend was still her friend during the unspeakable virus. They rushed to write a thank you note. They rushed really, really fast to write a thank you note to the Ramos King. <sighs> but how to get it to them? There was no mail going out. Then it hit. The Ramos Kingdom and the Luina Kingdom was so close together, they could walk it over. So 
it was time to make a delivery. The rules of the virus say, stay apart. The queen ventured out, rang the bell and ran away before they answered. This would go on for weeks and weeks. Then one day, the kings of the kingdoms had had enough. They opened their windows and started an open conversation. Who knew that the kingdoms were so close that the princess and prince could talk without writing letters or chancing the virus to spread? Both kingdom, kingdoms were overjoyed. This was making the virus lockdown happier and enjoyable. One day they finally heard from all the other kingdoms that the virus was vanishing in an instant. This gave them hope for their kingdoms. Days passed and passed, and finally the virus had passed. Princess was allowed to play in her backyard, and who was there waiting rather than none other than Prince Aaron? They laughed and giggled till the sun went down. Both kingdoms were whole again, and they lived happily ever after. The end! I hope you guys like my story. It's about my princess, Janessa Nadalsi, of course, and her best friend, Aaron. We love Aaron. We really do. And I know his mommy loves him too, which is Queen Stephanie, and his papa, and his sister, his grandmas, his aunties. He has some friends. We all love him. He's amazing because we love Janessa because she's amazing. And I love all of you guys because you guys are amazing. We're all amazing. So that was the story. I love you guys. Continue to want to learn. Continue to stay safe. And Jika's story times always loves you. Continue to watch the videos. I hope you love them all and I love you. Don't forget to tell mommy and daddy. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. Bye.